The hazardous seas alert continues across Trinidad and Tobago, especially for those uh, north-facing coastlines and even some western areas, especially through the Bocas and into the Gulf of Paria. Look out for uh, dangerous breaking waves as well as currents and uh, the possibility of mild coastal flooding and mild damage or erosion along those coastlines. Looking at waves battering at times at two and a half, possibly up to three meters off as you get towards uh, the middle of the day, with those long period north to northeasterly swells continuing at 17 seconds. There'll be a moderate easterly breeze as well of 15 knots. So you could well see some uh, white capping activity here as well. There's only one low tide at noon, but the high tides at 6.15 and 6 p.m. may see higher than normal waves here. In terms of the weather, occasional sunshine through your morning will be interrupted by occasional clouds as you go towards the middle of the day. We're expecting the possibility of a shower or two, especially across the hillsides of Tobago and then eventually settling by nightfall. Meanwhile, for Trinidad, also look for increasing cloudiness towards the latter half of the day. Through the afternoon, a brief shower is expected. There's only the low chance of a heavier shower, but in that, there's still the possibility of a street or flash flooding or gusty winds in some of those showers, especially over the western areas of Trinidad during the heat of the afternoon. And temperature-wise, expecting highs of 33 degrees Celsius across most parts of Trinidad. Western areas may be a touch warmer than that, around 34 degrees Celsius. So that's your weather, and that's for me.